Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners. Welcome to Manifested Online Classes. My name is Mr. Mwaniki. Our lesson today is about gas laws. Gas laws is the first chapter in Form 3. I want first to take you through the objectives so that you understand the expected outcomes by the end of this chapter. Therefore, we look at the objectives. The first objective First, by, by the end of the chapter, the learner at the end of the chapter, the learner should be able to first state Boyles and Charles Law. State Boyles Law and Charles Law. The second objective describe experiments To illustrate so describe experiments to illustrate Boy's law and Chow's law. The third objective you state and use the combined gas law in numerical calculations. So state and use combined gas law in numerical calculations. The fourth objective, state Graham's law of diffusion and relate the rate of diffusion of a gas to relative molecular mass of a gas. State Graham's law of diffusion and relate the rate of diffusion of a gas to the relative molecular mass of a gas. And lastly, explain diffusion in terms of kinetic theory of matter. Explain the efficient in terms of kinetic theory of matter. Therefore, those are our five objectives in this topic, gas laws. Just to go through the objectives, by the end of this chapter, 
the learner should be able to one state boys and chow's laws b describe experiments to illustrate boys and chow's laws c state and use combined gas law in numerical or mathematical calculations d state graham's law of diffusion and relate the rate of diffusion to the relative molecular mass of a gas and lastly explain diffusion in terms of kinetic theory of matter so those are our five objectives you need to understand and be able to do everything about this topic then by the end of the chapter you should be able you should have achieved all our five objectives into this lesson still i want to define two terms definition of terms definition of terms i'm going to define two terms the first one is gas and the second is law which are forming part of our chapter because our chapter is gas laws gas laws so the first term i want to define is a gas we say that a gas is a physical state of matter matter that has a definite mass indefinite volume and indefinite shape therefore a gas is a physical state of matter that has a definite mass indefinite volume and indefinite shape therefore the properties of a gas you can deduce them from that definition that a gas has a definite mass it has an indefinite volume and it also has indefinite shape that is a gas the second term is law a law is a statement of fact deduced from the observation to the effect that a particular natural or scientific phenomenon always occurs if certain conditions are present therefore a law is statement of fact deduced from observation to the effect that a particular natural or scientific
statement is a statement of fact deduced from observation to the effect that a particular natural or scientific phenomenon occurs if certain conditions are present. Therefore, it must be a fact. So it's a fact. And this fact must come from observations. So you must have done experiments and you've observed that this is a fact. And again, there are certain conditions which must be present and which we are going to discuss later in this chapter. Talking about laws, in this chapter we have four laws which we will be talking about. Boyce's law, Charles' law, the third is a combined gas law, and the reason why we are call it, calling it combined gas law, it is because it combines both Boyce's and Charles' laws. That's why it is called combined gas law. And lastly, we have the Graham's law of diffusion. Graham's law of diffusion. Those are the four terms or the four laws we are going to study in this chapter. Therefore, you need to know correct definition for these two terms, a gas and a law. Therefore, the gas laws, we can't say that it is that physical, that physical state of matter which has a definite mass, an indefinite volume, and a definite shape, which has certain facts which are deduced from certain conditions which we are going to discuss or learn them later in this chapter. Therefore, in this lesson, I wanted to give you just the expected outcomes in this chapter, which were the objectives, and define these two very important terms which we will be illustrating and discussing them deeply in the chapter. I will leave you with this assignment. The assignment is one state three properties of gases. That is the first question. And question number two is define the term law. State three properties of gases and define the term Low. The next lesson, we will discuss boys' law. Thank you for being part of the lesson.